Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we are in the 15th episode of this series and we have Ashrita here with us who has been recently placed at Amadeus Labs as a part of her campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us. But before we talk to her, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all students belonging to CSC and circuit related branches were eligible provided they had an 80% or an 8 CGPA in their 10th and 12th and a 70% or a 7.5 CGPA in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Ashrita and understand her experience interviewing for this company. Hi Ashrita, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce you. yourself first? Yes, uh, first of all, thank you for giving me, uh, me this opportunity on your channel. Hello everyone, my name is Ashrita. I'm currently pursuing my BTEC in CSC with specialization in cyber security at VITAP. At my academics at VIT, I have built various web applications and worked on various technologies like MERN, Node and Java full stack. And recently I have got super dream placement at Amadeus. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what happened? Yeah, basically, the students with uh, about 7.5 CGPA are eligible to apply with no backlogs. Okay. And the process is of four rounds. First, uh, we had an PPT and around 4.7K students were shortlisted for online test. Okay. The test has happened in two batches. I was of batch 2 and the test consists of MCQs and two coding questions okay. where uh, in MCQs we had uh, pseudo codes and basic uh, core subject questions okay. and also two coding questions. Okay. One of them was uh, uh, based on arrays which mm. has I already solved on lead code okay. and other question is also on arrays, uh, it's a basically a circular array traversal. Uh, both questions are of moderate level okay. and for me all the test cases were passed. Mm. And after that, uh, around 8.30 in the night on the same day, around 1100 students were shortlisted for round 2. Okay. Uh, round 2 is basically an SHL round where we will have uh, uh, a data interpretation questions and verbal ability questions. Okay. We can't uh, navigate backward, only we can navigate frontward and we will have a time limit. Okay. Uh, I have done it well. And uh, after that, around 70 members were uh, shortlisted for interview. Okay. Interview is uh, held on next day itself. Interview is of two rounds. One is a technical round and the one is an HR round. Hmm. Uh, in technical round, uh, my interview happened around 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. Where I have, uh, he asked me to code four coding questions. Okay. He gave uh, me a course on hash maps, arrays, DSA concepts and strings. Hmm. I have coded uh, three of them very perfectly, hmm. which was uh, one was based on arrays and strings and uh, hash map. Uh, he asked me about the DSA concepts where we will use hash map and all. Right. And also he asked me some uh, basic Java questions, okay. uh, exception handling, hmm. all related to Java. Okay. And as, as I have a full stack projects in my resume, he asked me uh, about those projects in very depth. Okay. I answered uh, with confidence and also he asked me uh, some questions on uh, JavaScript, React, HTML and CSS also. Okay. And after that I was shortlisted for HR interview hmm. where it happened around 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, they had general HR questions like uh, why am I yes? Why should we hire you? Right. And uh, about my projects mm. and about uh, which are not in my resume. Mm. Uh, she was uh, she was uh, she asked very well, okay. and uh, I answered with confidence. Mm. Uh, at the end uh, of the day, thirty eight were selected. Okay. Okay. So and I was one of them. Okay. Okay. That's great. Congratulations again, and thank you so much for sharing your experience. So, do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience? Uh, suggestions I would like to give is, first of all, maintain a good CGPA. At least you will be shortlisted. Right. So, basically 8.5 CGPA is must hmm. and uh, have a clear knowledge on basic programming concepts hmm. and have a clear picture of your project and technologies you have used when hmm. you put the project in your resume right. and be consistent in coding know about basic concepts of DSA and uh, how to code hmm. and be confident about what you talk in an interview. Right. right. That's all. 
Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you so much again for sharing your experience and for your suggestions. I'm sure it's going to be very helpful. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. If you did like this video, if you found this helpful, please do like, share and subscribe and all the best on your placements. Thank you all for watching.